Welcome to our mobile home rebuild project. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're gonna to be starting a big project over here, fixing this troubled spot where the back door pretty much rotted out the entire floor and everything's a wreck. So this is where we're starting. I'm actually gonna start outside instead of inside today. And we're gonna start by just replacing this rim joist. Now I'm trying to make sure that we're able to cut off this little bit of rotted spot up here. I can see it's bad. It's not too bad, but it's worse on the other side. I'm gonna to try to cut a straight line here. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I think I got through. Good, that was easy. Yeah. And now I gotta go on the inside and basically cut along the bottom of the subfloor to cut all the staples so that this can drop out. Well, we got it back to clean wood. Yep, good. Okay, that's the first one. Let me just come down here. If we squeeze this in there, it's only going to be pinching the floor again, making it hard to get the floor out. Yeah. <laughs> so let's leave that. Yeah. We'll do that later. At least it's ready. Now let's look at this and see how this is looking. Bad. Really, really bad. You're going to replace all this? I was just looking at how far it's going to be. You could. So now we wanted to start with that bottom rim joist so that we could better get an idea of what we're working with because this is a big, big job that we have to do. And I don't know if I can even demonstrate it, but we want to replace the floor from right here all the way to the corner of the house, a huge section of floor. And so we're just trying to figure out the best way to come at it. Now, because of the length of this area, we can't just do it all at once. That'd be a lot of unsupported wall. I just don't feel comfortable with that. So we're going to try to work in sections.
All right, so we got two sections of the floor removed. And so we're gonna start piecing in right now before we get too carried away. That way we can get some support back under this wall. So I'm just gonna start with my blocking and we can easily put a new sheet in here with no extra work. This rim joist is still good over here. If you see a lot of filth on it, it's just uh, cockroach droppings. There's actually no rot, so it's fine. Everything's looking good until we get further down where that cut is. So let's get another sheet in here, prop up this wall, because right now it is sagging probably half an inch because we have a lot of unsupported wall. We'll get our block supports in just like this, all screwed in, so that we can tie our new sheets in strongly with the old ones. All right, we'll sweep this out and get a sheet cut to put in here. Good, fits good. I guess we're gonna get this screwed down and we'll be back to carry on. Yeah, we're dropping down like almost three quarters of an inch probably. Yeah. On this end. I'll get it underneath that truss. Oh, it's lifting it good. I should have cut it longer. Yeah. Oof. This should be what I need here. Doesn't slide as nice. Got it. All right, I just finished up screwing down all those studs back into my new bottom plate. And I just feel so much better knowing that the wall is secure again. And you know, we got some strength back to the mobile home. So let's turn around and pull up another sheet of plywood. Now I have to do that because the tongue and groove plywood that they used is a little narrower than my plywood. So I need a 48 inches to drop a sheet in here. And this is only 47 inches right now. So let's just pull up this and we're gonna keep working it over one sheet at a time. And I think even though this project is the biggest repair job we've had to do, I'm feeling better and better about it. It's going pretty smoothly and that makes me feel good. Let's pull this up and I'm, I'm kind of intentionally not trying to get too carried away. We would love to pull that old door off and just get rid of all these studs but we actually ran out of siding. We have no more aluminum siding to patch up the door opening, which we are getting rid of that door. So we kind of have to keep it intact. That's why we're not touching the door yet. We're gonna wait until they have it back in stock and we'll pick it up as soon as we can. So for now, we'll just keep working on the floor. I use a chunk of wood to set my oscillating saw on so I can get the height of my bottom plate where I want it to be. That's what I'm doing right here. 
cutting those at the right height so that when I'm done, I can put my board under there and it fits. Fun size, right? You're already doing that one. Can you do something about this? What? <laughs> this, this. Can't get away from me. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna sister this up to tie these together. Crown. This way. And let me decide where I want it to go to. It's not going to matter either way. I guess in the end, right? It was 68, right? What? It was 68, right? I hope so. Now, before we get too carried away here, let's make sure we bolt this new joist into the frame so it doesn't go anywhere. And that'll hold that joist in exactly where it should be. Now that we have this secured to the frame, we should be pretty safe getting this screwed in place now. Okay. We're going to be marking these six on the edges, 
12 in the middle. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we just got done with all of our blocking around this new section that we opened up. And now I'm doing the most important cut of the day and cutting out this little section in front of the floor because that's all we're gonna replace of this area. Uh-oh. This one? Yeah. Have we been working that long? We keep losing batteries. What I want to do is try to get it out from under the wall. We're not cutting it at the wall. So hopefully we can make that happen. This is sawdust all over here. Love that. Yep. So I got some new blocking right here. We're gonna try to get some plywood on top of that between the wall and that. That's gonna be tricky. Now I'm gonna throw a two by six down here. I don't know if this thing crowns or not at this short length. Right on this side. Now we're just gonna block out the bottom here. I'm kind of having mixed emotions here. See, I'm kind of worn out. I just want to go home, want to be done. And at the same time, I'm getting like my second burst of energy because I'm excited because we're so close to finishing this whole floor area that was rotted for so long. Guys, there was holes since we moved in, going right outside. This thing was rotted out. Blocking, done. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit easy. Oh, is it going to be easy? Yeah. Let's see. That was easy. See? So it's not going anywhere. We have just enough of these. You know? Yeah. Is this Don't be afraid, huh? Can you grab them and take them down? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna help.
check this out for the first time. We have a solid floor. When we come in, which is awesome. Look how much we got done in just one day. We still got to get this wall supported. Let me just stick something under here to give us some support. Little bit of temp support. That's feeling better. Well guys, that was an awesome amount of work that we got done today. We really pushed through past our limit. We usually don't stay this long, but I think we got in such a flow that we were just like, let's get the floor yeah. done. So perfect spot to, to stop. Usually this would be like two jobs for us. Mm -hmm. I think that much flooring. But that puts us at a good point where now next time we can start working on the wall, fixing the framing that's rotted and working on that window. And hopefully that buys us enough time that the siding is back in stock and then we can pull this off and patch it up. Like I said, we are getting rid of that door because we don't need three doors and it's gonna not make sense with our layout. And it's not needed for a fire escape because we will have the appropriate fire escapes close to the bedrooms and accessible. And the windows themselves yeah, so, are also egress. So don't worry about that. Oh, it feels so good to see fresh clean wood under everything. Yeah. And that means we got to keep it that way. We got to hurry up so that rain, because rain obviously gets into this door. Yeah. We want to make sure it's not going to ruin our new floor that we just put in. But even if it rains, it's not a big deal. Plywood can handle a couple rainings here and there. Just like a house being built new, they often get rained on. Yep. So no big deal. We'll get it covered soon. We got our mess cleaned up. And like I said, the biggest thing about this is we are done repairing the floor. That's awesome. There's no more floor rot that we know of. I don't think there is. You never know what we'll find. Huge milestone. Yeah. And this wall right here, this last little section, I think is the last of the wall that needs repaired. Right. So we're getting close so that we can start doing the finishing work inside. Awesome. Yep. I'm gonna do some joist uh, truss work before that. So don't get too excited. We still got a little more roof repairs to do, but we'll get yep. there. So I think that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.